I've got a couple questions. Yes, good. If um, and if, if you, you can do it to camera if you want. But sure, if yeah. If you were to be asked for a couple pieces of advice in terms of students trying to get an internship, what might that be? Don't make mistakes on your resume or your letter. Can you start it off with sure. the the, the best way to get an internship is to uh, know exactly who you're writing to. Make sure you do your homework. Find out who the right person is at Cranes to send all your information to. Don't make mistakes on your letter or your resume. Try to find out, um, know the publication that you want to do an internship with. You should know that uh, what Cranes is all about. So when uh, they might call you, you don't say you want to write about uh, People Magazine kind of stories because this is Cranes. So you try to try to look closely at the publication so you know going in what the paper is about and understand that and uh, let them know that you're willing to really uh, dig in and do those kinds of stories or help do those stories. I'm not sure for internships what that's about. While you're an intern, whether it's at Cranes or somewhere else, what's the best advice you can give somebody while they're an intern? So they got the internship. Once you're an intern, the best advice I can give is uh, make sure you know exactly what your duties are and give 120% to those. And then don't be afraid to ask your editor, your boss, uh, what more you could be doing. <coughs> Maybe you could also be writing a story on the side. I know um, one of our interns who worked in the real estate department, she also wrote feature stories for another department. So that wasn't part of her internship, but she was able to do that, and that was a really fun thing for her to do. So um, ask what more you can do, and be willing to work really hard, and always be on time. Have you found that interns who really uh, extend themselves are the ones that get possibly selected for jobs? Are they the ones that people think of first? Yes, interns who really uh, give, them, give their all to these internships often leave cranes with really great jobs. I would say almost always. Uh, we've got interns uh, in the real estate department that have gone on to other interesting uh, media jobs. We have uh, interns now who are also <coughs> being um, wooed to other places. There's a woman uh, who works in our video department, actually, who's now doing a fashion segment for Fox because we started that in our lifestyle section. Fox liked it, so now she's doing work there. So. Uh, I think there are a lot of opportunities for, uh, for people who work at Cranes as interns to go to other places and do really good work. And can you also address this question too? Uh, when it comes to the, the subject of professional ethics and how important that is as a, as a journalist? That's what we live by. Ethics and operating in an objective and professional way, um, that's, that's what we're all about being true and factual and reporting everything uh, in a way that uh, is journalistically sound, is, it's what we are about. We don't want to make mistakes, uh, and when we do make mistakes, we have to live up to them. We, uh, we don't make things up. We double check our sources and triple check our sources, and uh, doing anything else, uh, we would lose credibility and we would lose readers. So I think it's, uh, it's at the heart of everything that we do. Do journalists have to be careful at times that people might try to undo and close them? Is that something that you, know, you can uh, speak to? Sure. Uh, there's always um, people want to pitch you and influence you in a way to write about them in a positive way. And so my job is to sift through all of that and write in a clear, objective way that, uh, that is true to what fits uh, with what I'm supposed to be writing about. I can't be influenced by what public relations people are telling me the story should be about. Uh, and that's a challenge sometimes, because sometimes it's hard to get to people um, you want to talk to, because there are all these, uh, there's a, f a group of people at a company that are filtering what you should be what they think you should be saying. So it's a challenge. And how do you deal with the gatekeepers? For example, if you're trying to get a story with, I'll use the mayor as an example, 
there often are a number of gatekeepers that are trying to keep you from actually asking right. the questions you want to ask. Right. It can be really frustrating, but you have to be patient and professional and remind them of the good work that you do. Uh, that happens a lot in working with the mayor's office. I have to go back and say, uh, look, uh, this is the story. I'm going to stick to this story. Uh, you can trust me that I'm not going to deviate into other uh, uh, issues. And it would be nice if then they give me the time to talk about what I want them to talk about.